Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing okay. If you're new, welcome, my name is Claire. I've got another unboxing for you and it is the gorgeous Cult Beauty Advent Calendar. It went on sale this morning. I'll pop a link to it down below in my description. Plus I've got a discount code as well. Plus you'll see all my discount codes and offers for other websites. So you'll find it all down in my description. This Advent Calendar retails for £225. I got 15% off, so it cost me like £191 something. <laughs> I bought it yesterday as I signed up for their wait list and it has a value of over a thousand pound it contains 39 products 19 of which are full size and 60,000 pound worth of sales is going towards mental health uk and more trees which i think is brilliant if you're new to my advent calendar unboxings i think this is my 16th possibly advent calendar i've unboxed so far i have got a playlist if you were to click on my profile scroll down the page you'll see an advent calendar playlist and all the videos i've done so far i've got a couple more coming up so it has hasn't finished yet plus I do unboxings over on Instagram as well if you enjoy following along with my boxings it'd be really really great if you were to give me a like and also subscribe to my channel because I've got loads of videos coming up loads of videos coming up so let's get on to open this up this is really really pretty look <laughs> if there's any advent calendars that you'd like to see me unbox then as always please comment down below let's get on to see what's in day number one up here We've got a product by C. This is a glowy super gel, dewy illuminating fluid, and it's 30 mils. It's got a shade as well. This is Star Glow. Only ever tried lipsticks from this brand, from what I can remember anyway. So what can I tell you about it? It's lightweight and multi-use illuminator to use all over the face or mixed with foundation. Well, let's try it on my hand. Feels really lovely. Wow, looking at the viewfinder, that just looks like silk on my hand. <laughs> Here, it just looks wet. <laughs> just looks like I've soaked my hand. But you can't tell there's any like shimmers, glitters or anything, which is brilliant, which is what I really, really like. It's just giving a really subtle glow. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, I really like that. So that's day number one. Day number two here. Got a Joe Loves candle. This is roasted chestnuts. Oh, proper Christmassy. 70 grams there. I love a candle. What's your thoughts on candles in advent calendars, particularly beauty advent calendars? I love it. I've got a bit of an obsession with candles. That is so nice. It is so, so nice. It smells almost like a bonfire as well. But yeah, that is beautiful. I love Joe Loves. So that's day number two. Day number three down here. We got Medicaid, one of my favourite, favourite skincare brands. At the moment, I'm using loads of their products. I absolutely love them. This is the Crystal Retinol Ceramide Eye 3 to soothe and lift eye cream. Gently releases vitamin A. And there's 15 mils there. Medicaid do different strengths as well. It says the nourishing all-in-one formula is designed to visibly lift and firm delicate eye contours, smooth the appearance of wrinkles and crow's feet whilst brightening the look of dark circles for awakened eyes by morning. Available in a series of progressive strengths. Yeah, I am really, really chuffed with that. So we've got an eye cream there by Medicaid. Day number four here. And we've got a product by Kinship. And this is a super melt vegan lip jelly mask. And it's 10 mils. Again, a new product for me. Melt-in hydration and gentle exfoliation for plumper, softer lips. Apply to lips daily. So it looks like. I just want to try a little bit on my hand, just see what it's like. I'm guessing it's like an intensive lip balm, more like a lip treatment. Oh, it smells nice. It's natural, it's subtle, but there's a little bit of fruitiness, fruitiness going on there. It contains prepare enzyme ferment, a prebiotic gently exfoliate and smooth out lips, hyaluronic acid, microspheres are three molecular weights, deeply hydrate and plump, and then sea blackthorn berry. Superfruit protects, restores the lip barrier. Yeah, that's lovely. We've got Super Melt by Kingship. Day number five up here. We've got Hair Gain Hair Gummies. Supports healthy hair, natural apple and berry flavour. The 60 vegan gummies and supports collagen for the skin maintains normal nails and yeah it supports healthy hair i'll have a look now to see exactly what's in there it contains selenium zinc biotin b3 vitamin c and vitamin e and anagain which i'm assuming is their own brand of something organic pea shoots 
something new for me. I take a lot of supplements. I've got underactive thyroid, polycystic ovary syndrome, high cortisol, just hormonal pain in the bum. I'm going to have to have a look, compare it to my own supplements to see whether if they're stronger or not. But it just makes sense, doesn't it, to take it all at once? <laughs> just easier. But um, but yeah, here game gummies there day number six up here huda beauty and this is coral cutie this is a cheeky tint blush stick i'm sure this is the same color as the one i received or oh, maybe not i don't know oh it, look, it looks very similar to the one i got in a boots advent calendar this year i'm sure it is if it is that's fine because i know my daughter really wanted it <laughs> So if it is the same colour, that's fine. I love a coral blush and it blends out really nicely as well. Yeah, I like that. I like, double check, but I'm almost certain it's the same one. Day number seven down here. Super goop. This is a facial SPF. This is the Unseen Sunscreen. SPF 30, water resistant, and there's 15 mils here. This is so, so good. It's very lightweight. Makeup sits really nicely on top of it as well. I was fortunate enough to have a Supergoop PR mailer package and I had lots of different um, SPFs to try out. And this is one of my favorites from the lot. It's a colorless, scentless formula that acts as a makeup primer, leaving a soft velvety finish. Yeah, really happy with that. Day number eight up here. We've got Summer Fridays. This is CC Me Serum to brighten and it's 30 mils. It says, add this brightening serum into your morning routine for a glowing, copy me complexion featuring two forms of vitamin C and soothing squalene. This multitasking serum can help reduce the appearance of dark spots and hyperpigmentation while evening out your skin tone. So, yeah. I love a vitamin C serum. I wear it daily. I'm not going to use it because I, I don't like to open vitamin C products until I'm actually going to use it. But if any of you have tried this one, please let me know what you think. I'm currently using the C-Tetra by Medicaid. <laughs> and it's so lovely. Day number nine up here. We've got two items. Oh, what is this? From Paula's, are they both from Paula's Choice? No. We've got here a pore normalizing cleanser for blemish prone skin. And this is from Paula's Choice's Clear Range. There's 30 mils there. This gentle cleanser promotes clearer skin without stripping it. I haven't tried that one. This is Dr. Barbara Sturm. This is Hyaluronic Serum and there's three mils there. There's a little teeny tiny one. So we've got a Hyaluronic Acid Serum and a gentle blemish control cleanser there. Day number 10 here. We've got a product from Dr. Levy, Switzerland. This is a R3 cell matrix mask to restore, replenish and restructure. And there's 50 mils there. This is a full size mask and it helps to neutralize harmful aggressors while triggering collagen synthesis. And this is a face and eye mask. Leave on for 20 minutes and then rinse. We've got a mask by Dr. Levy. Levi, Levy, isn't it? Levy from Switzerland. Day number 11 down here. Oh, you've got some makeup. We've got Bare Minerals. This is a mineralist lip gloss balm, and there's four mils there. And what shade is it? In Heart. Oh, this looks lovely. Like a nudie pink. I love a nudie pink. Let's see how nude it is. Yeah, that's pretty, isn't it? I really like that. Shiny Gloss Plus Nourishing Balm in One Non-Sticky Formula is made with cold pressed sea blackthorn and plum oils for smoother, healthier looking lips. Day number 12 up here. We've got a product from Halem London. This is a Copper Dew All Over Nourishing Oil with white tea and cedarwood. And there's 50 mils there. I love the bottle. Copper Dew is enriched with Amazonian, copaiba, passion fruit, black currant and cold pressed rosehip and Buriti oils, which are packed with antioxidants, vitamin A, C, E, and with an uplifting and comforting scent made from upcycled apple oil and notes of white tea and cedarwood. What's the result? A cocooning oil that nourishes from head to toe. That sounds amazing, doesn't it? Obviously, I'm going to have to sniff it. Oh, let's try some on this hand here, this side. So it can be used on your hair and your body. Oh, that is so lovely. Oh, that is beautiful. I absolutely love that. I would love that as a perfume. You're not going to see anything, but it feels so, so soft. It's not super tacky and sticky. It is really, really nice. I love that. 
Day number 13 here. Oh, we've got a few things. And they're all for your hair, I think. Starting off, we have got here Happy Endings. This is here by Sam McKnight. It's a nourishing balm and there's 30 mils here. A light nourishing cream enriched with pro vitamin B5, keratin and shea butter, helps tame frizz, smooth split ends, soften hair and define curls and create texture. And you can apply it to wet or dry hair. Then we've got a very beautifully looking product from Philip Kingsley. This is the Elasticizer Therapies. We've seen this a lot in different advent calendars, but this is a new one for me. This is Bluebell Woods, a deep conditioning treatment and there's 75 mils there. It's a pre-shampoo treatment. You wet your hair, work it through with your fingertips, leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes. The longer the better and then you rinse and then you shampoo and condition as normal. I just want to sniff it. Woo! <laughs> okay. Woo! That is so nice. Really, really nice. I have tried it before and it was all right. Oh, it smells nice, but doesn't really do anything to my hair. But our hair changes all the time, doesn't it? So I've had a few of them now in different advent calendars, so I will give it a go. And then the last item, we've got Amica. This is Hydro Rush Intense Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. You can either spray it on clean, damp hair, or you can spray it on dry hair to tame flyaways. And there's 30 mils there. So we've got three hair products for day number 13. Day number 14 down here. We got something else for your hair. We got Olaplex number three. This is 30 mils. And again, same as the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer. It's very, very similar. It's a pre-wash treatment. So again, you apply it to your hair. Leave it in your hair for like 30 minutes or so. Or when I've used it, I've left it in my hair for about an hour. And then you rinse it off, shampoo and conditioner. So yeah. It's odd that it's in the next drawer. It would have been better, in my opinion, if it was in a different drawer because obviously we've just had the Philip Kingsley, which is a very similar product. Day number 15, we've got the Seated Queen. This is a cold cream. It's an evening cleanser and night mask. That's the outer packaging. It's a makeup remover, cleanser, facial or overnight mask. It plumps and smooths dull and dehydrated skin, intensely moisturising, restores suppleness, improves elasticity, made with organic rosehip and borage seed. That's what it looks like. So it's a multitasking cold cream. Hmm, a subtle smell. <laughs> it just feels so nice. There's lavender. I can smell lavender. I'm sure that's what's in it. Yeah, there's lavender in it. That's what I can smell. That would be lovely as a night mask before going to bed. Day number 16 down here. We've got an advent calendar favourite. It's a very pricey brand. It's Augustinus Bader. This is the Rich Cream with TFCG, which is their own painted ingredient. And there's 15 mils here. This is a gorgeous moisturiser. It's really, really beautiful. I really like the original one as well. The not so rich moisturizing cream but i've got quite a few of these now so that'd be nice especially coming into the winter months when my skin is drier than usual so yeah that'd be coming handy day number 17 oh my favorite eyeshadow brand natasha denona i love her i follow her on tiktok instagram everywhere i love watching her videos they're just so amazing so stunning this is a bronze and glow oh i haven't tried any other products besides eyeshadows from natasha denona i don't think so anyway and this is a, yeah, a bronze and highlighting powder. This is a travel size. So again, perfect for, um, although I love full sizes, don't get me wrong, full sizes make me really excited. <laughs> but I'm just thinking for ease of traveling, going away for the night. But yeah, so you've got mirror and then those are the shades. That is quite orangey. I'll see what that is like on my skin. But um, yeah. My hand is, might be still a bit damp. That highlighter is beautiful though. It's really pretty. I'll see how that goes. I do love golds and corals for blushes and highlights on my face. I'm really happy with that. That is so pretty. Day number 18 is down here. Oh, we got a big one. Oh, there's loads. There's loads. Starting off then. This is really pretty. I know there's a few little added pamper treats in this advent calendar. I love the bag, a little cult beauty bag. But look, we've got a mirror. This is the most prettiest mirror. So we've got close up and then um, normal then. I need to peel that away. But yeah. So we've got a double sided mirror. Isn't that beautiful? I really like that. This is Precision Colour Pencil Crayon by 1999. And this is in shade Barna. 
that is lovely that is really nice to apply the pigment is great I have had another one of these in a different advent calendar yeah really really impressed so it's brown it's basic but it's a really nice eye pencil so then we've got fluff up wax for your eyebrows and this is by benefit and there's three mils there Can you see it's a nice product I do have this but I prefer the 24 brow setter I just think the formula is great and it really keeps my brows set in place but I'll pass this on to my daughter then we've got Rowan is that how you say it Rowan and this is an eye palette it's eyes on me I haven't tried anything from this brand oh look nice sort of gunmetal palette there oh this is beautiful we've got mirror and look at the shades that one's a cream oh and that one sorry <laughs> looking closely top two are creams and the bottom are powders the pigments are stunning absolutely beautiful that is really really pretty they're just really buttery smooth i haven't tried anything from this brand before but yeah roan beauty that is beautiful i love that lastly we've got a mascara by Barreto, and this is astronomical how cute is that how cute uh, this was mistaken for an intimate item <laughs> on one of my posts the other day and yeah you can see why can't you <laughs> i love it i just think the design is fab i haven't tried this before so this is new for me but i love that wand reminds me of benefit roller lash mascara so yeah see how that goes i just love that design it's just so bright and pretty i love it so we've got a mascara an eyeshadow palette a wax fluffer upper for your brows and we've got a double-sided mirror and we've got a pencil as well day number 19 up here oh we've got dr dennis gross and this is alpha beta universal daily peel a painted two-step peel with five aha bhas to help smooth fine lines and minimize the look of pores improve the appearance of uneven tone and texture and it says achieve clinical results at home and there's three treatments in there i've received this recently in an advent calendar i believe i haven't used it yet there's two step process you've got exfoliate and smooth and then you've got an anti-aging neutralizer so there's three of those there so there's that day number 20 down here we've got two items we've got elemis this is frangipani manoi and it's a shower cream luxurious shower cream 50 mils i love elemis oh it's nice it is nice yeah it's a cream wash <laughs> not a body lotion but it doesn't matter i just wanted to sniff it we've got away i love the smell of these oh away do the most amazing scented products we have got a scalp and body scrub and it's melrose place 30 grams it's so so nice oh it smells of apples it's just gorgeous yeah i really like that i do like this brand I can't stop smelling it it's so nice it's got a scalp and body scrub and we've got a shower cream without a lid i'll find the lid after so day number 22 here yeah. what is this this is a face oil conserving beauty beautiful packaging conserve you face oil 30 mils meet the do it all face oil delivers a dewy glow which is great our ultra nourishing plant-based oil will help moisturize skin leaving it smooth and radiant packed with a blend of antioxidant rich blue oh this is beautiful <laughs> blue tansy bisabolol new ingredients hemp seed oil vitamin e to help calm and soothe skin use day or night and use two to four drops how pretty is that let's try a bit on my hand uh, before it dribbles everywhere it feels really nice i love mixing facial oils in moisturizers around winter time when my skin just needs that extra bit of boost you know yeah that's so nice it feels nice on my skin nice and soft sucker for packaging <laughs> day number 23 yeah does sunday riley good jeans come with a lid i'm sure it does have I, had, I have i don't know if i've even had a full size before i think so it's a gold lid isn't it there's no lid in their calendar but anyway this is a glycolic acid treatment and there's 30 mils 
containing clean, ultra-pure glycolic acid to revitalise the appearance of dull, congested and sun-damaged sun skin without compromising on what matters to you most. So I've had a few of these in different advent calendars. I had one, I think, in the Harvey Nicks advent calendar. Either the Look Fantastic one or the Space NK, maybe, anyway. Day number 24 up here. We've got a bath oil by Verdin. This is Herbanum bath oil, 55 mils. Now you might already know, if you've seen previous videos, we don't have a bath anymore. Gutted, absolutely gutted. Hate the fact that we haven't got a bath, but we've got a nice shower. <laughs> so anything that I receive for baths, if I really like it, then I use it as foot baths. So I don't waste it. A purifying soaking essence of a herb garden. Ooh, definitely a spa-like smell. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, for my feet. <laughs> No, won't waste it. And day number 25, the last day of the Adam calendar. And there's seven items in here. Oh my word, look, look, it's jam packed. All right, let's go through them one by one then. We've got Soften Your Skin with Votary, Super Sensitive Cleansing Cream, Chia and Oat Extracts, Free From Fragrance and Allergens. And there's 100 mils there. A new cleansing balm for me, or cleansing cream. What is it, cleansing cream? an ultra gentle rinse off cleansing cream that melts away dirt, impurities and makeup effortlessly while supporting your skin's essential barrier function. And it contains 21 super seed oils to nourish and soothe. Yeah, that sounds really, really nice. So we've got cre cle Lula cleansing cream. Then we've got Ren Clean Skin Care. This is a bioretinoid youth serum. Uh, reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Su suitable for sensitive skins. And there's 30 mils there use AM and PM and I think I've already mentioned it's suitable for all skin types so there's that and we've got a Fable and Main Holy Roots pre-wash hair oil strengthened with ashwagandha and there is 14.4 mils there massage at least one dropper of oil into the roots and hair leave on for at least five minutes or overnight for best results rinse with Holy Roots shampoo I'm using rosemary hair oil on my hair from hair syrup, rosemary, and I'm noticing I'm sprouting hairs. I can see them in my hairline, and if I part my hair, I can see like sprouts. So it must be working, but yeah. I need all the help I can with my hair. So it's very, very thin and fine. I'm wearing a halo hair piece just to thicken up the bottoms, but it's a different color <laughs> to my hair. So hopefully you can't tell. <laughs> but anyway, hmm. no scent nothing so we've got a pre-wash hair oil or you can leave it on overnight then we've got biosense this is squalene and marine algae eye cream there's 15 mils here eye cream visibly firms and instantly smooths and this is a lovely brand i love the serums that i've tried i've only ever tried little samples but it's been nice to try the eye cream although we have got a medicate one haven't we so I think this is the second one. It says, gently dab around the eye area morning and night. You've got a Biosense eye cream. Ooh, Forever Eye Mask. This is by Diux. Diux. Apologies if I'm butchering these names. Sheet mask every day without the unnecessary waste, helping you get more out of your routine. The Forever Eye Mask is a reusable eye patch that holds serums and creams close to the skin, slowing evaporation. These masks allow your products to fully soak in, leaving skin prepped and hydrated. It wasn't what I was expecting at all. I was expecting to be thicker pads. They look really cool. Apply all your serums and stuff that you want underneath your eyes, then you stick them on underneath. Presumably do it at night, because that would be a better, isn't it? Or no, it says you can leave it, you can do it during the day and leave it on for 10 minutes. Next, we've got a big pouch in this beautiful galaxy design. Starting off, we've got a silk pillow and it's got cult beauty on it. A pillowcase, I mean. This is handy, actually. <laughs> Believe it or not, this <laughs> is really handy because now I've got a matching one. I got one in the Glossy Box Advent Calendar in this colour as well. So both me and my husband can have one now. <laughs> so it's a gorgeous silky pillowcase. And we've got an eye mask. See, it's beautiful, isn't it? The design is so, so pretty. I love it. And the design of this Advent Calendar is just really, really lovely this year. So there you go. Is that it? Is that it? Yeah. So we've got a silky pillowcase. We've got a silky eye mask in a pouch. We've got some reusable eye pads. We've got some Biosense eye cream. 
we've got a votary cleansing cream <laughs> There's loads here. We've got Ren Clean Skin Care. This is a bioretinoid youth serum. And lastly, we've got a Fable and Main, a hair, a pre-wash or overnight hair oil. Loads of items in day number 25. And that is everything in this advent calendar. Obviously, this being what, my 16th, 17th, whatever advent calendar <laughs> I've unboxed so far, there's going to be a lot of crossovers. But besides Philip King's Lear Elasticizer, the Sunday Riley, the glycolic acid treatment, maybe the Huda Beauty Creamy Blush, and maybe one or two other things, but not many. I think this advent calendar is really great. There's some nice new products in there for me, products I hadn't heard of before. Yeah, I think it's a really nice mix. And I like the fact that there's 39 products in here or for a 25 day advent calendar yeah i do really like it i'd love to hear your thoughts so as always what do you think of it did you buy it for yourself or are you watching this thinking i don't know shall i shan't i i'd love to hear so please comment down below even if you think nah it's rubbish this year i'd still love to hear but thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video take care bye